before I get into the, the bowies today, uh, on this tape, I wanted to just take a, a little time and put a little focus on one of my all-time favorite can't live without knives. Uh, I've had one pretty much always off and on since the 19, late, the late 90s. It is the perfect all around everything everything knife because you can have it on you all the time as well. What is the knife Jason? Grim Ripper. Tops Knives Grim Ripper. Right? If you've never had one, seen one, heard of one, run. Don't walk. You can get yourself one if you can find one still. It is so perfect. Let me just point out some of the, my favorite things. One, you can carry it every day. Why? Because it's not a dumbass, stupid dagger, double edged, double illegal dagger that is fucking useless because you can't, you know, not this. This is regular straight fixed blade, basically. It's a little under four inches, I believe. And, uh, you know, it's got the serrations, it's thick. This, this handle is so thought out and so well. It's right in the palm of my hand, so good, better than a dumb T. And I could, you know, I can index it here if I want. And not to mention the fighting capabilities with this. You know, if you have some hand skills or you work on some basis of, you know, boxing, you know, with this in it, as well as slashing. And the other great thing about it is it's relatively small very easy to to hide you know it's right there in the fold of my I can do anything Bend, you know I can punch kick I can do whatever I want and then it's you know right there to do some damage you know real quick just a punch very different from the um, you know the Bowie way. The back cut way. Which is great. But the Grim Ripper, you see, I think you can get that off in such close quarters. It's ridiculous. Not to mention its utility, how good this thing is uh, as a work knife and uh, doing tasks and opening things and stuff. And you have so much control over it in your wrist. You know, again, other super highlighting point is it's not illegal. You can carry it. And the self-defense like option. <laughs> I was just saying, it speaks for itself. <laughs> you know, and and the other great thing why it's a great great carry knife too because it's it's like I call it it's like my backup knife and my primary knife. Primaries, my primary and uh, my backup, because it performs all the functions. You know, so right now I have on me. What do I have? I have. Uh, okay, of course the Grim Ripper. I have ever present my Mayhem, Gold Steel Mayhem, and it is Mayhem. And I love this. This is just my fighting folder. And nothing else train with and for people, bad people. That's it. Not, I don't open shit with this. I don't open boxes. I don't cut shit. I don't be stupid with it. Keep that edge laser super sharp. Oh, oh and I have another one too. And I got this awesome little fold, fold not little, beautiful. Fucking, uh, this plain, but not clean. This is an Ontario Knife Company, a uh, long discontinued uh, model. Uh, it, it just great. It fits right in the hand. Looks a lot like that seal black knife I've seen. Uh, but this is this is also my uh, an EDC EDC utility, uh, as well as obvious self defense. These serrations are no joke. So that's 
saw. So, like, I'm carrying oh, these three. This is my, you know, what I'm going to open shit with through things, utility, whatever, show people if they need to, to see something. But this one stays hidden, doesn't come out unless there's mayhem to be made. And the Grim Ripper stays in there, very easy to conceal. Like I said, shirt right over it. I, I don't have the, I took the uh, the spring off and the clip that comes with it. I know it's a 50-50 decision. A lot of times I regret it, but a lot of times I don't because it's so smooth like this. I just stick it in and you know, it comes out. So it's a good reassurance too. So I would, uh, you know, again, heavily, 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 heavily endorse uh, getting yourself a Grim Ripper if you're serious into knives and blades and self-defense and all of it. Uh, you will not regret it, believe me. Okay, this uh, winds down the end of the little um, homage to the Grim Ripper. One last look. sunlight I gotta get to the Bowie video tell tops I sent you